Hello everyone, my name is Dakoba and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today we're taking a look at a design for an advanced fuel power plant for the third part in our oil processing series. Before we get into it, everything we're going to do is timestamped in the description below. This plant is a modular design that will produce up to 20,000 megawatts of power from a single pure crude oil node. It's also pretty quick and easy to build and can be built in smaller 5,000 megawatt sections as needed for your space, material, and oil supply. This is a later game build serving as a simple way to get the power boost you need for the big factories that will break open the nuclear options of the end game. We require the tier 7 milestone bauxite refinement to unlock the blender, as well as two alternate recipes, heavy oil residue for our refineries and diluted fuel for our blenders. We'll also be using Mark II pipelines throughout. This is a big build with a full 20 gigawatt plant sitting on a 32 by 64 foundation platform but we'll break it up into quarters that fit on an 8x64 platform to make building easier. Our input will be 150 units of crude oil per minute per section of the plant, with a full-size build requiring 600 units per minute. This can be achieved with a single oil extractor, overclocked, on a pure oil vein. The plant should also be built atop water to accommodate the 1600 units we'll be using, making the northern Spire Coast, the western islands, or the blue crater the best place for this plant. The output of the plant will be 5 gigawatts per section, providing 20 gigawatts for a full build, but expandable if additional oil nodes are available nearby. The Spire Coast can support up to 115 gigawatts of power if every node in the area is tapped for this design. The build will be broken into three sections, basic refinement, fuel processing, and the burn work. Let's get into it. Our first section will be built on an 8x8 platform. Begin by placing five refineries set to the heavy oil residue alternate recipe, and then connect up your input pipe. I recommend leaving a border of foundations along the edges for fluid and item transportation, navigation, and appearance. Next, use conveyor lifts to create a bridge structure on each of the refinery's solid outputs. Then thread a pipe through the bridges to serve as our liquid output pipe. Connect the pipe to the refineries with pipeline junction crosses. Finally, run a line of mergers to combine the outputs of our refineries and feed the excess polymer resin we're producing into an awesome sink. Alternatively, you can ship this off to process into additional rubber and plastic. For the second section, expand our platform with an additional 8x11 foundation section. Remove a 3x10 section of foundations beginning with the last row of our first section to make room for the water extractors. Place four blenders set to the diluted fuel recipe with their input lines facing toward the center of the platform, then connect up the fluid output line from our refineries to each blender. Next, place four water extractors all tuned to 83.33% clock speed in the space provided by removing the foundations. I find it sometimes helps to use temporary foundations to ensure they remain within the build area. Use a stackable pipeline support to create an elevated pipeline above the oil residue line and connect it to the blenders and extractors to provide the water for our diluted fuel. Next, run a fluid output line along the edge of the platform and connect it to your blenders. At the end of your platform, create an elevated foundation section two panels wide and run the fuel line through the center of it. Build a flow compensator by placing a valve on the pipeline and then building a fluid storage on either side, connected both before and after the valve with pipeline junction crosses. This structure will go a long way to steadying the flow rate of fuel and prevent the sloshing that can sometimes lead to brownouts. For our final section, place the remaining 8x45 foundation platform. Place 34 generators, 17 on each side, facing into the center of the platform, leaving a one foundation border around the entire platform and a one foundation gap in the center for pipelines. Once all 34 generators are placed, tune one of them to 33.33% clock speed. Create a pipeline loop around the entire platform, and then place an industrial fluid storage buffer at the end of the line on your last two platform foundations. At this point, I recommend connecting power to the first two sections of the plant and allowing them to fully fill all of the generators as well as the pipelines and buffers before connecting power to the generators to turn them on. Congratulations, this section of the plant is now complete and will provide five megawatts of power. To complete the build, simply repeat it three more times.
And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this build guide helpful. Leave a like if you have and subscribe if you'd like to see more. My name is Ben Dacoba and I hope you have an efficient day. See you soon.